Hi friends, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. And we've got Teddy Bear barking away in the uh, background. I apologize for that. I have a little problem with Teddy Bear. It seems every time I speak out loud, um, he kind of thinks I'm talking to him. So he responds, that's all I can think of. Um, because I'm, I'm a very quiet person. I spend most of my days uh, working and not talking out loud. So unless I am on the occasional phone call or talking to my niece for a brief period of time, I am a very quiet, silent person. So this is an unusual thing for me. Anyway, uh, you've, you're tuned in to Rita, uh, Miss Rita from MissRitaToTheRescue.com. I'm so grateful for your for your support, for you being here. I would encourage you to like um, one of my videos and also maybe to subscribe um, to my channel. I'm, I am endeavoring to uh, post snippets of, vi of videos of things that can help you work with Cricut products um, whether they are materials or their equipment, um, how to work better with them to maximize the value of your Cricut um, for you in your life. So um, I hope that you would subscribe to that. Thank you. Okay, so today I'm going to show you something really quick. Uh, this is a, a little target find that I, that I got in the dollar spot. Um, dollar spot in Target and it's just a little coin case right and it's uh, like this very metallic gold leather like material is sewn up sewn up and I thought well <laughs> don't want to gild the lily but I have a niece that loves glitter and gold so maybe I can make her an adorable coin purse with dragonflies, one of her favorite um, little things. So I cut this out with glitter iron-on. I'm gonna come back and talk very detailed about glitter iron-on, so please stay tuned. But um, for this case, it was just a quickie little thing I thought I would do, cut it out. Um, I cut out this one slightly detailed one and I cut out these uh, a bunch of these little ones that uh, you know I thought I would put places and actually on the back I did put three already but I wanted to demonstrate this little the baby <laughs> I don't know what else to call it but it's the smallest of the easy press machines it's really tiny see that and um, when I first got this, I thought, I'll never use that. <laughs> I, to be honest, I just thought, I don't make baby onesies. And uh, I just don't think I'll ever use that. I am always going to use the, the medium or the large, um, the large size. But I have found use in doing these little uh, Target dollar stop um, projects because they're usually tiny little things that I get to embellish like a cosmetic um, bag I did a cosmetic bag I did a luggage no I'm sorry a passport and what I found a passport cover excuse me passport cover and what I found was um, they're sort of small and working with a larger one of these can prove sort of uh, fatal. <laughs> um, so anyway, I looked up on my mat, I'm sorry, my easy press settings, and I'm doing faux leather, that's what that is, and I'm going down to glitter, I need to do 207 degrees Fahrenheit um, at 30 seconds with a warm peel and a light touch. So I wanted to show you how quick and easy you can take a, I think this was a dollar, uh, you can take a one dollar um, little coin purse that you know you picked up and really even further glam it up for your favorite um, 13, 12 year old, I think she's, she's 12, Gianna, I don't know 
how old you are now. I'm sorry, honey. But um, anyway, so I'm putting it on. And you see what I'm doing here? I have, I hope you can see that. I had to leave this zipper part off of the press. There is a, a problem. Well, I don't want to say problem. There is the difficulty of having the zipper and the, the leather and it, it's sort of the seam where they, they've had to seam it. So it might be a good idea when you're doing this to sort of work it around, especially because, silly me, I put one of the uh, one of the dragonflies way up close to that seam. I bet I did that on purpose so that, I don't think you're gonna see that. I bet I did that on purpose so that uh, I could show you how you could easily make a mistake <laughs> with this. Uh, because I'm all about making mistakes and showing you, showing you um, how to do it the wrong way, <laughs> and um, and that way you know for the next time. Oh, just kidding. Okay, so I did a 30 seconds on that. And I'm gonna see if this is gonna peel off. Oh yay! It did. It worked. And, oh yes, this is working very well, ni very nicely, very nicely indeed. And obviously the, um, the coin purse is hot because it's been under a 270 degree iron. Um, you'll see sometimes a little bit of a color change in the base fabric. Um, that should just be temporary. Um, and, then, and then also the fabric is like you know ply more pliable it will it will uh, thicken up obviously so um there's my one dollar target coin purse that i have totally glammed up for my sweet niece gianna marie in uh, new hampshire who is anxiously awaiting the the start of spring so thanks for joining me today my name is rita and i run miss rita to the rescue Dot com, which is a blog. I mostly talk about uh, crafting with my Cricut, but I also talk about food, lots of food. I talk about my Corgi teddy bear and also my son, M.O., that a lot of you know as M.O. online, um, who is a 13-year-old boy <laughs> on the autism spectrum. So I invite you to join me at any of my channels um, online and now my YouTube channel. Thanks for coming and have a great day.